Hi, hello, my name's Ollie Bliss and this is my channel Book Draw. For those who don't know, I enjoy looking at queer fiction and occasionally I create images out of uh, the books that I'm reviewing. And today I am exploring A Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy, which is by Mackenzie Lee. Now, I really enjoyed the book for this. This is a YA novel, which is historical fiction and even steps its toe into a bit of fantasy. Uh, it kind of reminded me of Pirates of Caribbean, but it's a lot cooler and cleverer than that for several different reasons. And this is the second part in a series. The first book was A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which focused on Monty, whereas this book focuses on the sister, Felicity. I was surprised by the book's front cover because it featured a woman who I didn't recognise as being Felicity in terms of the way she's described. Um, because within the book, she is described as, first of all, having red hair, um, but also ruddy features, broad shoulders, um, and a long uh, plait. And so I wanted to include some of those elements uh, within an image of her just to give a comparison to what I imagined her to look like whilst I was reading. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using as reference Jacqueline Emerson, who plays Fockface in um, the Hunger Games um, first movie. And I really liked that character and the way she was described in the book and I felt like they had actually provided someone who looked like the person I imagined and in um, the ladies guys for petticoats and piracy she uh, marks herself as having fox-like features so I thought she would be a cool kind of point of reference to start from but um, I got the sense that Felicity had slightly like rounder features so I'm just using her as a, an initial influence. What I liked about uh, Felicity is that she uh, demonstrates a range of qualities in a person. So she's quite, on the surface, sarcastic and judgmental and really quite stubborn. But as you get to know her, you find how kind and compassionate she is, as well as being someone who's very driven and intelligent and courageous and really defiant in her pursuit for what she wants. She wants to study medicine and become a surgeon, and she faces a series of barriers which are preventing her to get where she wants to. And she resents the fact that all her barriers are related to her gender. At the start of the book, uh, she suffers from a series of false starts. So she ends up dumping her boyfriend. She goes down from Edinburgh to London, and she attempts to get into a, a university there. She's unsuccessful, and then she ends up having to escape from her brother, Monty, in order to pursue her ambition. So at the beginning, it's really clear that she is not interested in uh, maintaining her relationship with her fella. It's clear that we're not going to be following uh, the adventure from the stance of either Monty or Percy. And clearly, th uh, the blockades in her way for her becoming a surgeon are restricting her progress and this book is about how she manages to overcome that as a series of hurdles. And along her way she um, is introduced to two other kind of key characters. You've got Sim who's an Algerian Muslim woman who's also a pirate and interested in other women. Uh, and she is also reintroduced to her estranged childhood friend Joanna um, who has a passion for plants and biology. And this really gives the opportunity to look at the relationships between these women, uh, but also how they view each other and how they kind of benchmark themselves against each other. And it's interesting as a, a look at those kind of structural restrictions and performative expectations that we put upon each other that is subtly being explored between the, the relationship between these three. And I really like that because it's not clean cut and it's not like making um, a, a particular judgment. I mean, in places she asserts her kind of point of view about how you can be more than one thing or a myriad of qualities that make you a woman, but also how that might not necessarily resonate or be as valued um, to another woman 
but it doesn't make them mutually exclusive. It's just that there are different areas of interest. And I think that's th there's something really universal in that, in terms of just highlighting that we are all individual, although we are a part of these clusters, and we can express ourselves and be interested in our own things. I also want to mention that the dress which I chose for Felicity is uh, based on a Victoria and Albert collection, uh, which is a sack back gown from 1760. I tried to get a dress which I thought was of the period because I thought the dress within the cover as well wasn't quite right either. <laughs> What I also like about Felicity's character is that uh, the notion of romance is taken off of the table quite uh, quickly. She's uh, not interested in either men or women um, she, in terms of pursuing anything on a sexual or romantic um, level, but she's instead more um, satisfied by platonic bonds and motivated by her passion for um, to fully understand the human body in uh, all its components and become this surgeon, and that's really her drive. Um, and, and the word uh, asexual or aromantic isn't used within this, um, but it's clear that she has a queer identity. Um, and I like that it's not explicit. I like that she is a character study of what a woman represents and it's giving you an opportunity to explore femininity and gender roles as well as um, sense of aspiration and self-worth. And this is across all the female characters in the book, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, this is enough from me. Uh, I just wanted to shout out and say, um, what do you think? How did you imagine Felicity and were you surprised by the front cover? Uh, and also if there's any other covers that you enjoy with queer characters which don't necessarily align to the way you imagined them, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, okay, this is enough from me. Take care and I'll see you all real soon. Okay, bye. Hi, hello, my name's Oliver. How dare you? I'm including that in.